Hello everybody, this is Stylish Yoshi and welcome back for some more Backyard Baseball 1997 Season 2. In terms of playoff implications, this is the biggest game of the year for the Melonheads. If they win, they only need one more win to clinch the number one spot in the league to clinch home field advantage for the All-City Playoffs. For the Rockets, well, they gotta if they want first place, they got a big hill to climb. They gotta beat us twice and hope for some help. But things don't look good, but anything can happen in this league. Few game notes. This is a new segment for me for for uh, backyard baseball. Game notes, pre-game notes. We have a big lineup. Well, first, Melon Heads notes. We got a big lineup change. Um, Annie stays lead off, but Dante Robinson is gonna be second. Keisha will be third. Mikey will be fourth, as per usual. Gretchen will be fifth. Lisa will be sixth. Reese Worthington will be seventh. Kimmy going down to eight. <clears throat> and Kenny Kawaguchi staying at nine. Lisa will be getting the start today. Um, her first start since, you know, winning game six, one nothing versus the All-Stars. Um, the Melon Heads have players that are in first, second, and third at batting average. Mucky in third with 520. Annie in second with 541. And Keisha in first with 555. I don't think that happened at all last season through nine games. And Mikey, just a little, you know, footnote here. Mikey is second in home runs with four, but he is first in RBIs with 11. And a few notes for the Rockets. Jordan Thorner, who is leading off today, has four home runs, 14 hits, which is, I think, third in the league. And then his average is a solid 437 average. Judy Abwanza, however, also on the Rockets, has nine RBIs, which is third in the league. And then here's a little fun fact about the Rockets. They only have two players that are below a 300 average this season so far. That's scary. They know how to get on base. So those are your game notes. Next time I might just do a little nice little edit. So um, anyway, let's get started, shall we? Melon Heads, Rockets, biggest game of the year both for both teams in terms of playoff position and playoff race. So the Green Rockets, if they want to stay in first, they simply got to win. Or if they want to stay in second, they simply got to win. Melon Heads, if they want to try and clinch really early this year, now's the time to do it in the next two games. So here we go. First game between the Melon Heads and the Rockets. I believe Wing Quan is your starter for the Rockets. Lisa, as I said earlier, is your starter. No, Todd Xavier is your starter. I apologize. Todd Xavier makes his first start of the season. And here is... Swing and a miss for Andy Frazier for strike one. It's a big game for both teams, the Melonheads. Trying to keep their undefeated streak alive and strike two. And as myself as a coach, wants to want to keep the undefeated streak alive. Here's the pitch swing. That's driven, but that's foul. That was a well-hit ball. Very good cut. So... I just turned my TV on. <laughs> uh, Andy with an 0-2 count here early in this game. Xavier wants to get through this first inning. Ball one down low. One and two. Big game offensively. Well, not uh, not offensively, but defensively for the Melon Hens. And that's fouled away. It was a little shaky to start, but they got, they got themselves back on track and helped Kenny to a win. Here's the pitch. That's a little grounder right side. Does it stay in play? Yes, it does. Catcher gets it. Throw to first out. Number one. Yikes. And here's Dante Robinson. First time in the two spot. Munch, munch, munch. Here okay, we go. Let's go. Dante Robinson. Hoping to succeed in the two spot. That's a little high for ball one. 
and the melon heads already exceeding expectations from myself for sure. And that's in there for strike one as Dante takes it. Todd Xavier, first start of the season. And that's in there for strike two. Good pitch. Right on the corner. Dante. Here's the pitch. Swing. That's a bouncer. He had to swing at that one. Dante, a tough foul. The throw to first. And time for out number two. So, and here comes Keisha, the league leader in batting average. Very, very good to me. And also in hits with 15. So, a couple mental notes for you. Here comes the pitch. That's in there for strike one. We're going to try a little more relaxed approach. Wait for our, our best pitch rather than try and jump out on him. That's in there for strike two. Not necessarily our best options to swing at, but you know. Here's the 0-2 from Todd Xavier. Swing! That's driven, but that's foul. Oh, a couple well-hit balls, but they're hitting foul. So Keisha Phillips digs in again for the 0-2. That's inside for ball one. I thought that was going to be a little, a little inside. So here's the one, two coming up. Swing that's blooped right side. That's a fair ball down the line. Fair ball down the line. And it goes out of play for a ground rule double. It goes past the fence for a ground rule double. Okay. Keisha Phillips with a big hit. Way to fight that off and into fair. And that was in fair territory. Nice piece of hitting from Keisha, and that, on, right down the middle, Morby. that was just a great piece of hitting, and she's showing you why she's the best in the league when it comes to hitting. Here's Mikey Thomas. Second in the league in home runs with four. One behind Dominic Lowe, who has five. So, here comes the pitch. And it's down low for ball one. Mikey Thomas had an opportunity with bases loaded, but he sure were. He didn't. He did not bat too well last game, and he only got one hit. Here's Mikey Thomas. The two-one coming up. That's hit well into right field. Going back at the wall. That one's gone. Mikey Thomas. With a two-run shot, and the Melonheads strike first with a two-run shot from Mikey Thomas, 364 feet, and the Melonheads are off and running, giving Lisa Crockett early run support, which is much needed since it's her first start since game six of the season. So... Todd Xavier being lit up here in the first. Here's Gretchen Hasselhoff. She's been she's been getting switched around ever since not performing too well in the uh, leadoff spot. But ever since that switch, she's played pretty well. And that's in there for strike one. So Mikey Thomas ties is now in first place. A tie for first place for home runs. And that's enough for strike two. What a game. What a season for Mikey Thomas. The 0-2 coming up. And that's just outside for a ball. Todd Xavier a little frustrated on that call. But the count is one and two. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. Struck her out. That'll end the inning. Todd Xavier with a strikeout, but... Not until Keisha Phillips with a nice piece of hitting, and then Mikey Thomas with a two-run shot. Puts the Mountain Heads up in front, 2-0. And here's Lisa Crockett making her first start. More like a month, if you want to ask. <laughs> so, here's Lisa Crockett. She wants to work that slow ball. Here's the opening pitch for Lisa, and that's swing and a miss. Or swing and a foul ball back for strike one. Lisa, well known for her hooks. She wants a right hook here for the 0-1. Oh 
Swing that's right at Lisa. Snags it for out number one. And here comes Wing Quan up the bat. The best pitcher they have available, but he's going to be in relief today. Swing and fouled away on one. He's also a 461 average, which is very good. Best on the team. And that's pretty impressive since he's the best pitcher as well. Here's a pop-up. Lisa jamming the hitters. Gets it. Has the throw to first. Oh, Wing Quan getting aggressive here. Kenny, throw to, throw to first. He's out. Wow. He got very aggressive there. But he's out for out number two. Here's the throw. There's a drive into right field. Gretchen is under it. Makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The defense answering the call this time around for Lisa. And it's a 1-2-3 first inning. The lead is intact, and Lisa's got to feel good about that inning. And speaking of Lisa, she's leading off. 291 average. She's having a been up and down hitting-wise, but her pitching has been unbelievable. Swing and a miss, 0-1. All right. The 0-1 coming up. Strike two, 0-2. Yeesh. The 0-2 coming up. Swing, that's fouled away. Umpire plate says it's foul now. The 0-2 coming up. And that's ball one, one two. The one two coming up. Swing fouled away again. One and two still. Todd Xavier, swing, that's well hit. And that's through the hole for a base hit. Lisa Crockett, doing a little bit of everything this game. Gets a one, two, three inning and gets a base hit up the middle to lead it off. And here comes Reese Worthington, who's arguably our most struggling hitter here. Lisa Crockett on first. She also has a little bit of a... A little bit of speed, so if we can get her to steal second, we could probably get a sack bunt here. That's upstairs for strike one. Throw is not that an errant throw. And Lisa gets second. Or she steals second. <laughs> Can't talk today. So now we could probably do a hit or try to advance the runner off a bunt. The 01. And that's up, set. that's up there for ball one. Todd Xavier in a little bit, in even more trouble right now. Runner in scoring position. For the bunt, that looks like a beauty. If Lisa could hustle, he will. Reese, it's a little bit of race. No! The catcher and, the catcher and pitcher both run into each other, and both runners are safe. So Reese with some pretty good hustle. And Kimmy Ekman steps in. Watch out. Here comes trouble. So Kimmy Ekman. With a home run her last game. Swing. That's a that's a liner. That's down the line. Fair ball. Everyone goes. Kimmy Ekman with a beaut. Oh, Reese is gonna try and get back to second. And he will, and that's an RBI single for Kimmy Ekman. Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. Sorry, I'm going to send a text out. Oink. Oh, don't want to steal, don't want to steal. Ah, uh, no. Ooh, is that out of play? Oh man, that would have been that would have been brutal. 
All right, let's see if we can get another bun for Kenny Kawaguchi. And, ooh, couldn't get that bun, so now we got to swing away here. 0-2. Sweet. Wow, that was hit pretty well. But it's an infield fly. What? An infield fly? That is a horrible call. Come on, pick your hook me up. Whoa. Kenny's just like, what? <laughs> That was kind of ridiculous. Oh, the big freeze. F froze us at the plate. <sighs> Hit a strike one. And that's a little bit of a hit there. Nobody covering third. It's going to be a tough play. Oh, Reese is going to beat him to the bag. Couldn't tag him either. He's a little too quick for that third baseman. Runners. Runners at all bases. Bases loaded with one out. And here comes Dante Robinson. I'm turning that ball into cream. Keisha oh. Phillips on deck. And oh man, Wayne Kwan has to step in here at the top of the second. Here's the opening pitch. That's down low for ball one. Oh man, what a. Oh, and there's the big freeze again. One and one. Wing Kwan using the big freeze there. Maybe hopefully get some momentum going. Swing that's fouled away in one and two. Bases loaded. One out. Dante. Hoping to drive a runner home here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Got him. Swinging. And that's two outs as Wing Kwan tries to get out of this inning. Here comes Keisha. Baseball been very, very good to me. Who has a, who had a ground rule double her last time up. Uh. 1-0. Keisha just waiting. A 1-0 from Wing Kwan. That's in there for strike one. Good pitch. Come on, Keisha. For whatever reason, we'd like to... And that's inside for ball two. Two and one. There's a hitter's count here. And Kwan. A two one here. Swing fouled away. Two and two. Just got a piece. Here's the pitch. Upstairs. Runner. Oh, and now Wing Kwan is now taken out. Vanna Steinman stepping in. Full count. Everyone takes off on contact. Swing and a miss. Struck her out of the innings over. God. Kimmy Ekman gets that RBI single, but we leave that we leave the bases loaded. We leave him stranded, but it's 3 nothing as we extend our lead. Lisa Crockett does not mind at all. So the bottom of the order doing some damage. That's always a good sign. Lisa Crockett says she's got it. Makes the catch out number one. She only threw five pitches in the first inning. As Lisa Crockett looks to reel and deal here. Swing, that's a little pop-up. Lisa... Couldn't make the grab. Reese, throw to first. In time. Nice back up there. Reese backing her up there, saying, I got you. He has a very big short-term memory, as he did not play well in the shortstop position yesterday, or last game, but made a pretty good play there. So seven pitches, and that's ball one. He's a Crockett. Not throwing many pitches as the Rockets want to try and get after Lisa. But it seems like... Ooh, that's just outside for ball two. Seems like that's not working right now. All right, Lisa's down 2-0. Let's see if we can get a hook in. Swing, that's a little grounder. 
Lisa with yet another beautiful inning, another one, two, three inning here in the second. Lisa doing everything for this team, hitting and pitching and fielding. So, three nothing after two. Lisa, perfect through two. Mountainheads, Rockets. Rockets, this is the biggest game of the season for her, man. They have responded too well. And here's Mikey Thomas, who's already got a two-run shot earlier. To put him up 2 nothing. We've extended that lead to three now, and that's just low for ball one. Man, it's timing. This is a, the Mount, the Rockets already on their third pitcher. Swing, that's driven left field. Does he have another one? Oh, it's just so close. Oh, man, that thing just died. That thing died. That, that looked like it was about to be his sixth of the year, but nope. Baseball God said no. Oh, man, that was I thought that was better hit than the other one. Holy smokes. Here is Gretchen Hasselhoff, who had a strikeout her last time up. Looks to change that. And she's batting a 291 right now. Swing, that's hit to the right side. Well played by the second baseman, and that's out number two. And here's Lisa Crockett. Here goes nothing. Yeah, here goes nothing. So Lisa Crockett hopes to keep the paddle going here. Swing, that's a little dribbler to the left side. Lisa a little tuckered out, but that'll do it for the inning. A 1-2-3 inning for Vanna Steinman, a much needed inning from her. As the, hopefully the Rockets can solve Lisa Crockett, who has the best ERA in this game. Best ERA in the league with .33 or 3-2. Something, something along those lines. Lisa looking to keep reeling and dealing here. Swing and a miss own one. Here's the pitch, the 0 1. Swing and a miss 0 2. Good pitch. Her hooks look just as good as they did. And here's the 0 2. That's driven left field. Keisha's got to get under that one. Keisha can't make the grab. And that's the first hit allowed for Lisa Crockett. Oh, they're getting a little aggressive here. Kenny throw to first, and that's out number one. Never mind. The uh, no hitter keeps going. <laughs> what? Okay, then. That was odd. Lisa Crockett wants to build off that. Here comes the pitch. Swing. That's driven. Right field, and for the first time since the game, since what the third game of the season, Lisa Crockett gives up a run. And it's a solo shot. The Rockets have life. Holy smoke, she drilled it. And that was not where she wanted that pitch either. 535 feet. That thing was launched. Holy smokes. The Rockets with a much needed offensive boost there. 3-1. And that's only the fourth run allowed this season by the Rockets or by the Melonheads. So a little bit of adversity here and Lisa still wants to go with that heat. The pitch. That's ah, in there for strike one. Better heat pitch. Vanna Steinman, the pitcher who is in the game right now. That's strike two, 0 oh and two. I think that's Lisa's first bad pitch all year. Or unless it's her second. Here's the pitch. And that's ball one. Lisa only 17 pitches, but the Rockets got a home run off it. The one, two. Got her looking. What a response by Lisa. First of the game and none bigger. Here comes Judy Abuanza. Judy Abuanza has nine RBIs. 
We're yeah, nine RBIs. That's third in the league. Swing and a miss. Own one. Yeah, she only has one home run, so she obviously delivers in the clutch. Judy Abonte, here comes the 0 1. That's down low for ball one. Lisa just wants to get out of this third inning here. Swing, and that's a grounder to Lisa. She's got it. Throw to first. In time, and that'll be it. And that'll do it for the inning. Mount had still lead 3-1, but the Rockets get a solo shot. And the lead is cut to 3-1 now. So the no-hitter and perfect game are both snapped at the same time. So... Reese Worthington will lead off here in the top of the fourth. This game figured out. Watch me go. That's in there for strike one. The 0 1. Ball one, just down low. A little, just a bit low. And as time wants to continue her success. Swing, driven, opposite way. That looks like it's going to be a hit. Reese Worthington with a nice opposite field hit. Good stuff. Well done, Reese. And a nice leadoff hit for him as he tries to get his hitting game going. Watch out. Here comes Reese also has a little bit of speed. He does get tired easily, but he does have enough gas in the tank for a stolen base here. Let's see where we put it. Here comes the pitch from Vanna. That strike one. Reese is going to go. Reese always beaten. He might get tagged. No. Reese hustles back. Wow. Great hustle by Reese. That is unreal. So the catcher has an arm here. So we're just going to let him stay put. And that's strike two, one, and two for Kimmy Ekman. Anything outside is her pitch. Anything. Low, high, middle. And it keeps it inside, and Kimmy had a whack at it, but that's foul. Okay, Kimmy, never mind. She prefers the outside, but she can hit just as well inside. So, Vanna. Well, shaking up on that pitch. Swing, that's driven right side. Does that have the distance? No, that's off the top of the wall. And that's another base hit for Kimmy Ekman. Holy smokes, Kimmy is on fire lately. And here's Kenny Kawaguchi. I think we're going to try and bunt here. Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. Try and advance the runners here. I mean, especially Kimmy, since she's not a very good runner. Hopefully, Reese has enough left in the tank to hustle to third here. Going for the bunt. And just the way we want it. And no, and he's going to try and outrun Kenny. And Kenny's like, no, you're not going to catch me. <laughs> Bases loaded, nobody out. And we got the top of the order coming up. Something's got to give, guys. Come on, Major. Hook me up. We've had bases loaded how many times the past couple games? And we've gotten one run. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here comes the pitch. That's in there for ball or strike one. <laughs> Yikes. Annie Frazier. A line drive into right would be beautiful. That's ball one. One and one. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Can we get a little more? Can we get the run back, please? It would be great. Swing. That's hit right side. Oh, the second baseman keeps it. Wow, what a play. The throw to third. In for the double play. Oh, that hurt. What a play by the second baseman. Holy smokes. You talk about a highlight real play. I mean, she didn't control it at first, but she got it. And then okay, mixed the... Let's go. 
Play it at home, and then the third for the double play. Two outs now. Still can't give, still can't convert on bases loaded. Swing fouled away. 0-1-1. Might as well go a hit and run scheme here. The 0-1 coming up. Swing. That's a little dribbler from where the catcher is. Eh, looks like it's gonna be a tough out. Oh, and that's out. Great play by the catcher. And that'll retire the side. We had bases loaded, but we could not capitalize. Hopefully, it doesn't come back and haunt us. And the Rockets with a much needed. That was. That's mental toughness all the way. Second baseman. That's a season changing play. That second baseman probably just saved their season there and keeping this game out of reach. Here comes a swing and a miss. 0 2. Or 0 1. At least a Crockett. Starting off with a heat ball. Here comes the pitch. Oof. Outside for ball one. At least it looks like she don't have her best stuff right now, but so far she has a 3-1 lead. Swing fouled away. One and two. Rockets have woken up here a little bit. They're really starting to make contact and making this defense make plays. Here comes the one-two. Swing. That's a little dribbler. Lisa got it. Wow. Nothing gets past her. And that's out number one. Thing is about Kenny, you really have to move his wheelchair to make those plays. With Lisa, she can just move her whole body there. Nothing against Kenny, it's just... It's just the way his character is built, because he's in a wheelchair. But he's still a pretty good second baseman as well. And even with those kind of plays, the defense was there to back him up. So, it's all about stepping up. So... And Kenny could still make those plays, too. If we get past him, we'll get right to it. Anyway, here's the 0-1, and that one is foul. The 0-2. Kenny proves he can pitch similar to Lisa. Lisa wants an out pitch here. The 0-2, she's getting pretty tired. Got him! Look it! Number two! And Jordan Forner steps in. Man, would the Rockets would, would love a home run from him. He has four on the year. Playing in a miss own one. Third in the league in home runs. He has four of them. It's unreal. Here's the 0-1. Swing. Oh, popped him up. Lisa jammed him. Lisa is under it. Says she's got it. Make the catch, and that'll be it. One, two, three inning for the Melonheads and Lisa. She responds well after giving up that solo shot last inning. And the heart of the order comes up for the for the Melonheads. Keisha. Keisha Phillips. One for two with a double. Oh man. Melon heads coming up big when it matters most foul away 0 and 1. Lisa doesn't have her again, she don't have her best stuff, but she's still getting it done. Here comes the 0 1. Swing and a miss 0 and 2. That folded Keisha. And Vanna Steinman looks pretty good in relief right now. Swing, that's driven center field. And is that going to drop? Yes. Keisha has a single. Just barely, though. So, here's Mikey Thomas. He looks to bring home. Put one right down the middle for me. <sighs> Sorry, I had to crack my neck. <laughs> Alright, Mikey Thomas here. One for two. Had that two-run shot to get things started for the Melonheads. Oh, I don't know why he swung at that. Keisha better get back. Uh-oh. They got players running into each other out there, but it still makes the play. So Mikey pops up for out number one. Here comes Gretchen Hasselhoff. Let's see if Ke Keisha can steal here. We 
can get Keisha to steal, Gretchen can try and bunt. How bad did that sound? Ooh, slow ball. That's ball one. Keisha trying to get a steal here. Oh! Out at second. Caught stealing. Out number two. And I just got the schedule for the Flyers. Game one of the NHL playoffs is Wednesday night. Here comes the pitch. And Gretchen swings and fouls that away. Probably should have let that one go. My fault. The 1-1 one -one coming right up. Swing, grounder, right side. They play the shift. And it gets through! Gretchen still got it through on the shift. That is unreal. Great piece of hitting by Gretchen Hasselhoff. That's unreal. Keeps this inning going, and look who's up. Lisa Crockett. I think we might take her out of this, out of this game. Because right now, she's not really mobile at the moment. Because she is exhausted. Actually, no, she's not. Never mind. So let's keep it going. Ball one, Gretchen trying to steal. Gretchen! Oh, caught stealing again! And that'll end the inning. Ugh. Caught stealing twice! Wow, this catcher has a beautiful arm. And great tagging by the second baseman, too. So, fifth. The score stays the same. It's still 3 1. The Rockets. Hoping to get something going. I mean, they had that solo shot in the third. But at least it's been lights out. Otherwise, here's a grounder. Mikey's got it. Throw to first. What a cannon. That's out number one. Here's Todd Xavier. The starting pitcher today did not look good at all. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss on one. Lisa... Looks like she found a little groove here. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Beautiful pitch. What a pitch. That was beautiful. The 0-2. Swing. That's driven left. Reese trying to get under it. He does. No, oh, it goes over his head. He thought he had it. And it went over his head. Kishu. Ooh. Todd Xavier just getting to first. I mean, I thought we'd try, but, you know. So, only the second hit allowed for Lisa Crockett. Here's George Coleman. Here comes the pitch. Swing, that's a grounder. Could be a double play. Lisa, the second. Out number two, Reese for the double play. Got it! Out of the inning... And Lisa does it again. Fields it to second. Reese with a pretty nice throw to first. And a double play to end the inning. Defensively, wow. This team is very defensively sound. I mean, they've made some pretty pretty good double plays. Mikey's been sensational at third. Something I can hit. And here's Lisa Crockett to lead off. She was at the plate when the third out was made, so... And that's a never strike one. Vanna Steinman answering the call in relief. Her offense otherwise has not. Swinging foul away, 0-2. So the Melonheads dominant so far. Swinging foul away. Lisa found a little bit of a groove here. So the 0-2 coming up. Swing, driven, right field. That's a hit. Lisa Crockett with her second hit of the day. She might go for more. Throwing that that good. Is she looking for a triple here? Nah, we're going to stay double here. She gets a leadoff double. Nice piece of hitting from, from Lisa. Here comes Reese Worthington, who's two for two today ever since that lineup change. Gotta love it. Look 
looks like I found the the I found the best batting order for this team. I mean, they're firing in all cylinders right now. Going for the bunt, and looks like we got it. Lisa's got to hustle though. And that's out number one. Lisa safe at third. So now Kimmy Ekman stepping up. She has two singles today. This one's going a mile. Big opportunity with a runner on third. Lisa with a double. A nice bunt. Sacrificial bunt. Trying to get... Uh-oh. Oh, why would you flub that chance? That's a pop fly. Third baseman under it. Oh, no. They dropped it. Okay. Kimmy gets a little... A little bit of luck there. Kimmy, and that's strike two, 0-2. Oh, Ooh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Very hungry. The 0-2 coming up. Ball one. Ooh, that was pretty close, but... Kimmy Ekman, good eye, one and two. Swing, driven, left field. That's going over. Another hit. Lisa trying to get to home. The throw home in time for out number two. But Kimmy gets a base hit. Can't extend that lead. Lisa got a little tired running on the base paths. Oh, my Lord. Man, just can't capitalize. Can't really put the game away right now. I don't know what's with this team of not putting the game away. Kenny and that swing fouled away on one. Oh, two right, or two outs. Kimmy on first. Three, one, Mallon heads lead. Swing fouled away again, oh, and two. We got the sacrificial bunt. Kimmy got a nice hit, but Lisa just ran out of gas. Swing rounder, it's past the pitcher. And the, the second baseman will just tag first. And that'll end the inning. Or tag second, I'm sorry. I said tag first. So, three outs away from a 10 0 start. Rockets playoff, playoff uh, race takes a, little, takes a gash. I mean, they're still in the race. It's a tight race. But a loss here. And I think... I forget who would win. Oh, that's driven left field. Gretchen going back. This one's near the wall. Gretchen can't make the catch. Oh, and it drops for a hit. And she runs it in. Reese. Here's the third. And again, they're being so aggressive. Kenny Kawaguchi on the race down. Throw to first in time for out number one. Why? Why do they do that? Whenever Reese throws the ball, they start running. I don't understand. <laughs> All right. Lisa trying to finish off this game. If she gets in a little trouble, we'll switch it out. Here comes the pitch. That's ball one. Her hook pitch didn't work. Sign of fatigue here. Here's the pitch. That's way off. 2-0. Again, Lisa trying to get something going here. The 2-0. The Swing and a miss. Vanna Steinman trying to keep things going. They're down to two outs. The 2-1. Two, Swing fouled away. 2-2. Two two. Lisa fighting back here. The 2-2. Two, two. And that's a pop-up. Kenny on the run. Makes the play. Nice play. Throw to first in time. Round number two. We need the defense to take care of Lisa here. Judy Abunza. Step it in. Give me a sub. Give me a sub. Well, you're going to try and finish this game out. Swing and a miss 0 1. Here Got her to chase. Nothing. 
He got one. Sweet, gonna miss 0 and 2. Lisa trying to get a complete game here. The 0 2 pitch. Fouled away as we play on. Just wants to finish it off with a left hook. Here comes the 0 2. Ah! Just inside for ball one. Ah. Oh, that was close. Here comes the 2 1. Got her looking to end the game. Three strikeouts for Lisa in her, in her comeback game. 3 1 your score. The Rockets take a huge gash. They took a bad loss last game, and then this one's even worse. So, 3 1 is your final. The Mountain Heads take a 10 0 start. They've already. They already exceeded the win expectation for me. Anything goes here. Just one win, and we're in. Unless the Wombats lose. If the Wombats lose, then we clinch. The Wombats lose it! We won it! <laughs> wow! Bombers with a big win. Oh, All-Stars with a big win as well keeping their playoff hopes alive. So, with four games remaining, we have clinched the number one spot. I'm telling you right now, that's what we just did. We clinched the number one spot with a Wombats loss, and the Rockets of Wombats, oh man. Sox and All-Stars right there with them. The Sox with a huge win. They needed that win too. If the Sox lost that game, that, that would have been a huge gash to their playoff hopes. But the Sox and All-Stars staying alive. That's pretty insane. So, wow. We clinched the number one spot. We might as well rest everybody at this point. But anyway, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this. I know I did. It was 3-1. I was like, eh. And Lisa shut it down. <laughs> like she always does. Well, that'll do for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Laters.